This tutorial is all about Symbaloo.com and Symbaloo is actually two different websites. One is Symbaloo.com which is for business use or personal use but there's also a second version of this called edu.symbaloo.com and this is basically the same thing. Both websites work very similarly but this one is geared toward education and this is the one that I'm going to show but you'll be able to apply what you learn in either version of Symbaloo, Symbaloo.com or edu.symbaloo.com. So what is Symbaloo? Symbaloo is a way for you to create basically an internet start page. And this is great for use on a computer, a laptop, a Chromebook, but it also works excellently on a mobile device, a smartphone, a tablet. So Symbaloo has become really a very popular tool and you can see that it's like I said a start page or a home page that you can build that has quick links to some of your favorite websites that are out there on the internet and they look like apps the way that they're set up here on the screen they look a lot like a smartphone app but really these are just buttons that will take you to the different websites at least most of them are let's look at how to get started I'll just go here to the upper right corner where it says create free account and click Notice that you have options to quickly register by clicking to register with Edmodo or with Clever. And then there are other options as well that are even more popular in some cases. Or you can set up an independent registration account without linking it to any of these other services. So give me a minute to do that and we'll get started. So I've created my account and now I can begin using Symbaloo. As you can see, across the top of the screen, there is a default home page that you're given, and then there are other tabs or pages that you can click to access. So this one, because I'm in edu.symbaloo.com, if I go to tools, this one gives me common popular tools that many teachers will like. I'm a big fan of Remind, of Padlet, Scratch, Socrative, TED-Ed, ClassDojo, VoiceThread, these are all really excellent tools that I'm familiar with and that I use. And so Symbaloo has done a great job of picking some of the better educational technology websites and just making a page full of those tools right there for you. So that's great. There's also a tab or a page called Edu News, and it brings in RSS feeds from CNN, from NPR, and other sources. And these RSS feeds bring in news about education and teaching. There's also a features page that kind of shows off some of the features that you can use. And then there's a popular page of some of the most popular websites on the internet. Some of these are education related, like Weebly, but many of them are just general interest websites. Now this is all nice and you can go in and you can use these very effectively, especially this tools page. I really like this one, but you can also make some changes to it. And the first change that I want you to know about is if you don't like it at all, or if, let's say you don't like the popular tab or any of these others, you can simply select it and you can go to remove and yes, delete this web mix forever and it will remove it from your account. So that is an option. I'm gonna cancel that because I like this one. So there's another way that you can edit or change these web mixes that you have without removing them completely. And that is by clicking on options. So let's do that. When you click on options, it gives you ways that you can edit the web mix. You can rename it, you can change the wallpaper uh, in the background, and you can even upload your own image for that. You can see there's some other options here, changing the see-through nature of it or changing the web mix icon. So there's different cosmetic changes that you can make there. You can also change the web mix size, okay? If you turn that on, Notice that you get these handles that you can click to increase the size of the web mix, and you can also increase it vertically as well using the buttons down here. I'll turn that off. And there are some other options as well that are pretty good. So having said that, those are just kind of cosmetic changes, a lot of those. Well, what if I want to remove some of these tools because maybe I don't like them? Maybe I have just decided they're not for me. Or what if I want to add new ones to this tool's web mix? Well, we can do both of those things. First, let's look at removing. Here we have Moodle, and it's a great tool. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I haven't used it personally myself, and I have a different solution, so I'm not going to be using this one. So I'm going to right-click on that and click 
delete. Okay, you can also edit or copy move, but I'll just delete that. Now I would like to replace that with the LMS that I use. So I'm gonna to click to add a new tile and it brings up a panel here at the left. Create a tile. Now before you go creating all these tiles, it's a good idea to search for a tile because a lot of times other teachers, other people have gone out and created them already. So I'm gonna do a search for canvas and you can see here is a canvas tile. This is an LMS, but I'm going to click on that and it very quickly and easily added a tile for canvas. This is a tool that I'm going to be using and I use already uh, a lot more than, than Moodle. And so I've just replaced one that I would probably never click with one that I will click. So now if I want to go to canvas, I can just click that link and it takes me straight to the Instructor Canvas login page. And you'll find that many of the tools and websites that you would want to add to your web mixes or to your start pages for the internet using Symbaloo, many of them are already created. Another example let's try is eMaze. eMaze is a presentation tool software and it's not that famous really, but I did a search for it, it brought it up, somebody else has already made a tile for it, so I can just click to add eMaze to my tool list. So very often, most of your work is already done for you. Now what if you come across a tool uh, or a website that you would like to add and it's just not in the system? For example, I would like to add a link to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash technology for teachers and students. So I'm going to click to highlight, copy that, and I'll go to Symbaloo and create a tile for it. There probably is not a pre-made tile for my little YouTube channel. So I'm going to click create a tile and I'll just click to paste in the URL for my YouTube channel. And I then get to decide is this a website, a news source, radio station, or embedded? Is it an, an embedded object? And it's really just a website so I'm going to leave it like that. I can title it and notice that it tries to title it automatically and it did a pretty good job. The problem is my title for my YouTube channel is too verbose and it just does not fit. So I have to make some decisions here and I might have to shorten that name and that's going to fit better. Do I want the text of the name to show up on the tile? In this case, I really think I do. Otherwise, people aren't going to know what, what this symbol is. So I'm going to click to show the text. You can play around with the background color of the tile. And you can also, if you choose, you can add an icon for the tile. And in this case, it automatically recognized my logo from the website. And I can just click. It pulls in that image. And it will very often automatically choose the image that is most prominent on a particular website and make it available for you to use if you'd like. So I'm going to go and select Use Selection to Tile and I resize that in such a way that I think it'll work. So that looks okay. I might need to work on that a little bit but that's pretty good. And then I'll just click Save and I have just added a tile to my web mix of tools. So now that you've learned how to remove tools that you don't want, add new tools, even searching for pre-made tools. Let's look at what if you don't want to work on a tools web mix or a home page like this, but rather you would like to create a brand new page about something else. Let's say that I have a lesson coming up on the American Revolution and I would like a web mix or a Symbaloo start page focused just on the American Revolution. I would go here and click on the plus sign to start a brand new web mix. I would put the name in Notice that I have an option to make this an RSS feeds web mix. If you remember, I showed you an example toward the beginning of an RSS feed page or web mix. In this case, that doesn't make sense for what I want to do. Notice that there's also an option to search for somebody else's web mix and just pull theirs in. That's an option and that can save you a lot of work. In this case, this is going to be very specific to my class and my lessons, so I'm going to do it this way. Click Add and it gives me a blank web mix. And notice, just like my other page, my other web mix, it does have a Google search bar right in the center of the screen. And this is just meant to make it easy to find the exact websites that you want to add to your Symbaloo web mix or start page. So 
I'm gonna do a search here, American Revolution history. And you can see it found some interesting results. And I'm gonna click on this one. Now I haven't really vetted this website. I don't know how accurate this is or not. But let's pretend like this is a accurate, good website. It looks like it probably is. I'm gonna click on that, copy it, and I can go back here to my Symbaloo WebMix and I can add a new tile and create a tile paste it in, put in my name, and go from there, just like I showed before, and save. And so you can go about designing a web mix or a start page for any particular lesson or unit that you are preparing, anything that you want to be easily clickable and look attractive to the students or to the audience that you're working with. Notice that you can organize the tiles and put them wherever you want. And if the web mix is too big, remember you can go up to options, change web mix size, and then you can adjust it down to a smaller size. And I, I very often do this when I'm creating a Symbaloo web mix. So imagine continuing this process of adding links and things like that. When you're done, what do you do with this? How do the students access it? How do you use it? So because I'm signed into my account, this web mix will always appear here. I could add tons of other web mixes and this would just show up as a tab on my home page and I could reorder them however I need to. So I can access this very easily. But what about the students or the public? How would I get them to see this? So I would like to share this, but notice that my share button here at the top is grayed out. It's not working for me. And you can see at the top of the screen there's a message that explains why. They've sent a confirmation email to my email address and I need to actually confirm that in order to proceed. Here in my email account, I can see the email that they sent to me and I just need to verify my email address by clicking the link. And now, look, there's the share button that I can use to share this web mix that I've made. I simply click the button and make sure that it has the name that I want. I can put a description if I'd like to and some keywords or tags that I can put in to make it more easily for people to find it. Then I decide share publicly or share privately with friends. I'll go with publicly, click share my web mix, and notice what it says here on the right. Copy this link below and share it anywhere you would like to share your web mix. So I can highlight that, copy it, and I could post that on a website builder like Weebly or uh, an LMS and anyone that clicks the link would be taken directly to my symbol that I made. So that's one way to share, but there is another way. On this same share web mix screen, notice there's an option for an embed code. If you click that link, it gives you an embed code that you can then highlight and copy. And then in a website builder like weebly.com, that's this is Weebly, you can go in and you can put in an embed code widget now this would be different on other websites. What I'm showing here is specific to Weebly, but on other services it's fairly similar how you do it. So I'm gonna paste in that code, click outside the box, and notice what it does. It's gonna bring in my Symbaloo. It's not perfectly formatted perhaps and things like that, but I could play around with it and move it to a different part of my Weebly page and that seemed to solve the problem. But once I publish this page, and click the link, my Symbaloo web mix will show up on my website and all of the tiles that I put in, I only have one in this example, but all of those tiles will be clickable and will take students directly to a website. So Symbaloo is really social bookmarking and visual bookmarking and attractive bookmarking. It's You're making links to websites, bookmarks to websites that look nice and inviting and clickable. Now just so you know, it is possible to add things other than links. If you click in a blank tile space, you can click create a title, and then you can switch from website to news source for an RSS feed kind of thing, or radio station, or embedded. Okay, And you can embed things like videos or media. You could get the link to a Google Doc or a Google presentation or to a video or a sound effect or whatever it might be. And you can have those things embedded right into your Symbaloo. So that's something to check out and try on your own as well. So imagine having a Symbaloo web mix for an upcoming unit that you are preparing to teach. You'll have links to the websites that you wanna show the students. 
you'll have documents for them, you'll have some widgets and tools built in. Symbaloo is just a great way to prepare for a unit that's coming up. In some ways it can be used similarly to Pinterest, to the way some teachers use Pinterest in the classroom. Now Symbaloo recently announced at the ISTE conference in Philadelphia in 2015, they recently announced that they're working on a new addition to the website and it's called Symbaloo Lesson Plans and this is a very exciting update. Basically you would be able to create your own lesson plans with custom paths so that the students if they want to finish the path they have to check off certain tasks, they have to go through certain lessons, maybe watch certain videos, go to certain websites, and then there would be questions, quizzes, assessments, things like that. And you as the teacher would get analytics to find out how much time they spent on these lessons, how, what was their success rate, what's their progress. And so it's a very exciting development for Symbaloo Education and I'm very excited about it. I have signed up to participate in the beta for this and I would encourage you to do so as well and look forward to a future video that I'll make on the Symbaloo lesson plans. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video tutorials on technology for teachers and students.